name's Jerry McClanahan. I'm here in Chandler, Oklahoma at uh, McJerry's Route 66 Gallery. It's my pleasure to meet people from all over the world. I love it when people come up and knock on my door or call. I'd like to meet them. I'd like to meet you. Anybody traveling the route, just give me a holler and we'll visit and talk about uh, old memories and new memories. It's, it's, it's a privilege. Well, right now we're at McJerry's Route 66 Gallery in Chandler, Oklahoma. We're about a half block off Route 66. Moved here in 2008 so I could finally be on the route and get to visit with people from all over the world. Before that, I lived down in Corsicana, Texas, which is about five hours away from Route 66, and that was a bummer. But now it's just, I live next door. People come knock on my door, call me. I don't know who's going to come or where they're going to be from. South America, Russia, Asia, the uh, United Kingdom, just anywhere. I've had 60 Australians in here at one time, and I've just, it's been a blast. Uh, the reason I have this gallery is because I do paintings of Route 66. I do commissioned work for people of their cars in Route 66 settings. I uh, also do uh, guidebooks of Route 66 and maps. My Easy 66 guide is usually at the top on the Amazon sales. Uh, it's been out since 2005. It's a really bugger trying to keep it to up to date with all the changes on 66. A lot of the changes are good. We have people that are restoring old motels and opening museums. We have a lot more interest in the route, but then there's the bad things like this bridge is torn down or this road is closed. So it's just, it's, it's good that it is changing. It's not like the Oregon Trail. The Oregon Trail is dead. There'll be no more new stories ever told about it. It's history. Route 66 is still going. It's still evolving. It's still a living, breathing highway because it's got all the hopes and plans and dreams of people all over the world being invested in it as we speak. I fell in love with the road when I was a kid. I was born in Duncan, Oklahoma, 1957, don't do the math. And uh, we moved to California about the next year or two because my dad was a dirt poor oil field oaky and my mom was from Arkansas and that was worse. We moved to Southern California, he got work in the oil industry. It, almost every year during the 60s, we would hit Route 66 and come back to Oklahoma and Arkansas to see grandparents. Dad didn't want to waste a single minute of his precious vacation time, so he would get in the car. We'd leave uh, Southern California about 3 in the morning so we could get across a lot of the Mojave before it got hot. He wouldn't get off the gas pedal except for like stopping for gas and food until we got to Arkansas. In 1960, he drove the distance from Southern California to Western Arkansas in 29 and a half hours. Straight through, not stopping to sleep, and this is when you had to drive through every town. I don't think anything was bypassed yet, and most of it was still a two-lane where you had to pass trucks. So I'm sitting in the back seat of the car looking at all this cool stuff. The billboards, the snake farms, see the live buffalo, buy bull whips, buy rubber tomahawks, the neon signs, all the cool western stuff, and we're not stopping a lot. We stopped at a snake farm once. I'm too young to remember. It was just some little almost dead place out in the middle of nowhere. Mom stayed in the car, in the car with her door locked pushed down. She didn't want to get around any snakes. Dad took me in and we left quickly. He was in a huff. He wasn't happy. They might have been fake snakes. It might have been like, see the baby rattlers where they're just little thing that baby rattles, you know. I wish I could remember it. We did stop at Stuckey's a lot. And a couple of times we did have to stop at a motel. Once in Albuquerque, I had the measles and we had to stop and get me medicine and we stayed at the Westward Home Motel. But all those trips just stayed in my mind long after we moved back to Texas in 1969. I didn't get to go on Route 66 again until 1981. I had seen photos of old billboards and things in a book and it reawakened my memories. Dad and I went out on a trip to California to see that where we used to live. I made him stop at everything this time. Klein's Corners, Meteor Crater, Grand Canyon Caverns. The Grand Canyon Caverns was one mile off Route 66. And we were out there in 69, and he said, no, we're not going one mile off the road. No, he just couldn't stand to go that extra mile away. It was like tearing his guts out. Since 1981, I've done numerous trips. I live, always live near the middle, so I never do it all at once. 
I'll do it in halves or thirds. Last year I went to Santa Monica, I went to Joliet, Illinois, a couple of trips to Joplin, went to Tucumcari. It's, it's every year's like that. I bite big chunks of the route off so I can so I can visit the friendly people along the way. There's people I can't drive by, like Rich Henry and Illinois. I can't buy, drive by Rich Henry without stopping. I can't go by without stopping at Afton Station. Uh, Bob and Ramona at the Munger Mosque got to stop. Gary Turner, bless his heart. Sometimes I'll be desperate to get home. I know I'm gonna be there two or three hours, but I still got to stop and see Gary, you know. It's just the incredible people along the road and the incredible people now traveling the road. It's people just from all over the world and they're so excited to be on the road. Route 66 is a great ambassador to the world for the United States. I've had people from Europe come up. We had this notion about, you know, Americans, and we've been on Route 66, and we're amazed at how friendly the people are. See, they're in the middle part of the country, the, mid the Midwest and the West. Uh, they'll go into a cafe, and people will hear their accents and just fawn all over them and take them out and show them their ranch. It's, uh, so the people from overseas are going away with a really, really great idea about how Americans really are because they're driving our beloved mother road and it's great to be a part of that.